Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dagmara and I make videos about making your life more elegant, uh, adding special touches to your day-to-day -day moments, even the most mundane uh, routine activities. Uh, today I wanted to welcome you to my living room. It's slightly different video. I wanted to give you a little tour of my living room. As you will see, I am a big fan of Jonathan Adler's. There's a lot of pieces throughout the space that are from Jonathan Adler, like this chair or the pillow behind me. I just love the sense of um, humor that he has in his design pieces. I love kind of that tongue-in-cheek design that we get to experience with um, with his ideas. I love mix and matching different styles. I love a lot of uh, kind of classic pieces, but I think your home is what make, um, you know, your home is where your personality can shine through. And I think this is a good balance to what my personality is like. I like to laugh. I um, love a good sense of humor. And so I think that that's a little bit um, also reflected in the space here. Uh, the other thing is that I love color. Um, I enjoy, you know, shades of blue and pink and greens. Um, I just find vibrant, beautiful homes much more inviting, at least for my senses. Uh, I like bright uh, rooms with a lot of sunshine to bring in. I am very kind of season uh, sensitive, so to me, bright rooms are important, especially in the living spaces where I spend most of the time. So to me, a home is not just where you put your head down, but where you can truly be yourself and where you can surround yourself with things that maybe tell a story, things that you love and enjoy having around you that really allow you to be you. Uh, you decorate the home for yourself. I am a huge subscriber to the idea of if you love something, you buy it and you find space for it. Um, really that speaks to me uh, my decor very much tends to lean towards the more maximalist side and not the minimalist i think with all of the pieces that you bring in you definitely create those little details or vignettes that uh, allow you to make it more homey and, and cozy and um, maybe uh, attract the eye and spark a conversation with people who you bring in as your guests. So uh, again, welcome to my living room. I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comment section what you think is an important um, aspect of your living room. What are some of your must-have pieces? And um, I hope you enjoy the tour and I'll see you next week. So starting with my couch, as you can see, I love to have some pillows. I like to make it nice and cozy. The stairs are obviously for my um, dog, Miss Daisy, and she likes to sit on that little blanket in the middle of the couch. She just finds that um, very cozy for her. This is where the cushions meet, and she just likes to have that little burrowed in feel. My coffee table is probably well known to you. If you follow me on Instagram, I share a lot of coffee table decor. Um, so this is what we have today on the coffee table. I always have a ton of coffee table books. It's just something I enjoy. I think that they're fabulous pieces, plus I love books. I love having them around me. Um, of course, candles, um, I'm a huge as your um, no, I love different scents. I am a big believer that you should engage more senses than just your eye when you think about decor. Uh, so to me, the scent uh, is an important aspect in creating ambience. And okay, so the two candles that I have here is this big Sir Trudon Abdul Qadar. This is probably one of my favorite candles. 
Um, and then I have a new addition. This is the Altair. This is a very interesting multi-dimensional sense. And of course, I love this gold detail uh, jar, which um, I think this is a limited edition uh, for this particular one, but I find it matches very nicely, obviously, my um, glass base here. And then this, uh, this diffuser is by Santa Maria Novella. This is actually one of my favorite scents by them, the Melograno. And I just love the beautiful packaging. I think I, I have a few uh, shorts that show um, unboxing and I show a little bit more of the beautiful packaging in these. And I always have little trinkets to or trinket jars or trays um, to put or little dessert plates like this. This is also Jonathan Adler um, to keep my um, candles and my flowers. Uh, what I do is with my flowers is I always put ice cubes into the water to keep the flowers nice and fresh. But what it does, it makes the, the container sweat. So I always put a little plate like this. This is a, a William and Sonoma plate from their series. And so I always put these little plates to protect surfaces, uh, eliminates any surface cleanup if the flowers wilt a little bit. Um, so that's the coffee table. Uh, as you can see, I like layering. I like having several kind of different interest areas. Like I said, I love scent. I think the more senses you can engage, the more fabulous is the the core or the feel of the overall uh, room or space that you're decorating. So I like to play soft music. I like to have a signature scent. I, I love to have different textures. So obviously natural textures like flowers and plants, um, different textures on the pillows that's important to kind of engage all of the senses as much as possible. And I always kind of look for inspiration from hotels to, um, to decorate the space that's more interesting and appealing. So here's my little sitting area with a peak of my coffee table. Um, obviously this magnificent huge uh, monstera that i've had for probably four to five years at this point uh this monstera was tiny when i first got it it was i'd say probably a quarter of the size this is the second pot that i was able to find um and repotted this plant into and now it sits over there in its little spot um, obviously, I love pillows. I like it nice and cozy. As I've mentioned, the blanket in the middle, my dog loves to sit on there. She likes to have it nice and kind of cozy and cuddle up. She snuggles into this. My Jonathan Adler chair, I just love that um, swivel chair. It's rather comfortable and I like the pillow. That's again, a little bit tongue in cheek sense of uh, humor that I enjoy. And of course, my coffee table decor and this uh, glass hand that you see is also Jonathan Adler. So I have uh, a lot of Jonathan Adler pieces throughout my um, living room. Uh, the lamps here, so I have a lamp of the same kind on either side of the couch. They're actually by Restoration Hardware. I think that they give a little bit of a more lounge type of look. And besides this, they match the metal crate um, design of my coffee table. And the coffee table is from Design with Henry. So this is a peek uh, from by my kitchen. <laughs> Uh, as you see, I have a huge, huge plant uh, in the corner over there. This is a bird of paradise. I've repotted this now several times as it's growing. It requires a larger pot. It's about, at this point, I think it's seven feet tall. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty tall. It's always problematic to move with this, but uh, I've had this plant now probably for good I don't know, 16, maybe 20 years. So this plant has been around for quite some time 
And so repotting is important to make sure that we rotate through fresh, um, fresh dirt, but I just love it and I love it to have my dining table close to it because it's almost like eating in a fabulous kind of glass house, especially in the winter time when the sun hits. Uh, it's just a nice, elegant space to eat. Um, so yeah, I just enjoy it. And of course the vase on the dining table is also Jonathan Adler. This is actually the Muse collection and it's one of my favorite collections uh, from Jonathan Adler. So you'll see a few pieces that I have uh, throughout my house. The rug is designed with Hinrich as well. It's a very thick rug. Um, I like the pattern of it. It's a little bit like a Greek key. Um, I just like how this feels on the feet. It's a, like I said, it's very nice and thick. And the uh, little yellow toy on the left side, that's Daisy's little chicken. Her favorite meal is a chicken. So here we go. Then I have um, some pictures, picture frames. My tip, if you're living in an apartment and you don't wanna put any holes in the walls is to just lean your picture frames against the wall and layer them up uh, on top of each other. Of course, uh, it's a nod to France. As you can see, there's Eiffel Tower in the back. I thought I'd take you um, on the side so you can see the details of what's on top of the cabinet. So I have a little uh, bust there. I have a chargeable light in the back that uh, brass um, light is chargeable. So I really like it because I can put it wherever I like. Obviously, coffee table books, you already know I love them. I have a stack of magazines that I have to go through, an every candle, and a little bit of a, um, it's a, it's a butterfly. And then uh, it's more of Santa Maria novella, pomegranates in that uh, little plate or tray. I just love, it's a, another melograna. I just love how they smell. And here's Miss Daisy taking her stairs up to heaven into the couch uh, to lay down probably and relax or just see what it is that I'm looking at because she's very nosy. <laughs> and then my last little detail is this side cabinet that I'm actually urgently looking to replace. I don't like the style anymore. I'm looking for something that's a little bit more French, <laughs> French inspired. Um, also something where I can really display my china because I have a lot of porcelain. I have a lot of tea sets, which I love because I love drinking tea. I think this is a perfect opportunity to have like an elegant uh, self-care moment because it allows you or kind of invites you to slow down just the entire um, I call it ceremony around making tea or preparing tea is very um, soothing, very relaxing to me. But this is my little side cabinet. Uh, again, more scents, more different smells to layer it up. This beautiful mirror I found on Cherish, one of my favorite places to shop for antiques or vintage finds and pieces. Uh, this is one of my book towers. Um, I actually uh, need to get more books. I don't have nearly as many as I would like to see on here, uh, but that's like a constant uh, development. I think that your home is never finished, neither is your library. You constantly add more pieces. As you can see, I also have more books on this site uh, chair along with my purse that I just dropped on Friday and haven't moved since. Um, and yeah, that's just my little cabinet. The lamp is cartel. Um, again, more coffee table books, ginger jar, uh, and more beautiful roses. Roses are one of my favorite. Well, thank you very much for um, stopping by and to watching my little uh, living room tour. I hope you enjoy and found this useful. And again, I'll see you in my next video. Please like and subscribe.